Everybody, now I will talk about the different field devices which will be used with the building management system or BMS in projects. As you know that the HVAC system or heating, ventilation and air conditioning system is the most important and the most system which consumes power in any building. That's why it's important to use BMS to control and monitor the power consumption by this system. Here we have different field devices. Some of them used for air only, for HVAC ducts. Some of them used with water and air. Okay, and some of them used with water only. Here, this is differential pressure transmitter or sensor. This is differential pressure switch. This is duct humidity temperature sensor. And this is this is temperature sensor with 150 centimeter probe. And this is temperature sensor with length of the probe 30 centimeter. Without using immersion well, so will be used only with the HVAC duct. But if we need to use them with the water, so we shall use immersion well. Okay, so we'll remove here this knot and we'll insert the probe inside the immersion well to allow using it inside the HVAC pipes. Here, this is pressure sensor used to check the pressure on the line for a chilled water system. For example, the pressure I need to know out from the chilled water pumps, so I will use it on the supply line of the chilled water pipe. This is differential pressure switch, differential, sorry, differential pressure sensor or transmitter. This is to measure the difference of the pressure between the supply and return line of the chilled water system. This is differential pressure switch. Okay, this is will give digital signal for the comparison between the pressure before and after the pump we are using it on the chilled water pumps here this is flow switch to check the status of the flow this is the arrow for the flow so out from the pump if the flow is going from here so this is the correct installation on this status now it's all normally open so if there is a flow it will be converted to close so it will give a status that there is a flow already in, in the pipe this is the bedel we have different sizes of the bedels will be connected here to the flow switch here we have actuator cooling valve actuator can be used with two-way or three-way here for two-way and here for three ways this is cooling valve actuator also but this is for butterfly valve and this is auxiliary contact will be used here with the actuator for the butterfly valve why because this one only will give on and off but so i need to open and close i will send signal to this actuator to switch on or switch off or close or open the butterfly valve but it doesn't give any feedback so to convert it to 
a modulating type to send the feedback. So I'm using this this auxiliary contact, which will be fixed above the actuator, and based on the rotation of the of the actuator, it will give me status where the location of the actuator. Also, you need to know that we have different signals. We have digital signal and we have analog signal. Also, it can be input or output. Okay, so we will know the difference between both of them in other videos. Thank you.